Hey guys, so it's Mercedes, and I did all my face products. What the heck? I know that went so fast. It's like one week's worth of products. What? How could I even dare? Actually, it was like a week and a half, two weeks. But anyway, um, I do have, that's it. That's my whole makeup collection that I've done now, and it took about three months. That's driving me insane. Um, but I do have new products that I purchased, and that's what I'm going to do. Every time I do purchase new products, um, I'm going to go ahead and bring them out and review them, and then I'll put them in the playlist that they go with. I have an eye product and a lip product, and today we're going to talk about the eye product because it's something that I've owned for a long time. Um, as far as the next series of products, we can do either skincare or or we can do nail polishes, or we can do makeup tools. Go ahead and leave your votes in the comments below, and I will definitely take them in consideration, and we will do whatever you guys want to do next. So today we are talking about the High Definition Liquid Eyeliner by NYC. This is my second in command as far as marker liners go. This is a fine-tipped marker liner. <coughs> Let me go ahead and swatch this for you. Do, do, do. It gets a 4 out of 5 because, like I said, it's my second command. This is what I opt for when I can't find the Jordana Fabuliner. After the catastrophe that was the Kat Von D um, Trooper liner, I had to go out and find a new liner so that I would have one until I could find the Jordana. Jordana wasn't there at the Kmart. I don't know what it was. It was like... The snow and the Super Bowl made everybody buy everything from the Jordana eyeliner set. Like, what do you guys need the eyeliner for? You couldn't leave one for me? Anyway, this was $4 at the Kmart. Um, NYC is not a bad brand. They do pretty good. Um, it's just not as dark and pigmented as the other one is. And just use a little water or spit and it's gone. Not waterproof. Jordana is waterproof. This is not waterproof, so that's a little bit of a bummer. But otherwise, it's really great. These do dry out if you leave the cap off, though. That's a problem I had with this before. I left the cap off and it dried out. <laughs> Whoopsie. Otherwise, these are pretty fantastic. Um, I definitely recommend these uh, for anybody who's new to eyeliner. I always recommend if you're new to eyeliner, get a marker liner. Because it helps you just easily, it's like you're using a pen. And we have been using pencils and pens our whole lives. So draw a straight line across your eye. You know? You know? So that's that's my review. This gets a 4 out of 5 because the pigmentation is just not as great as I would want it to be. But otherwise it goes on really great and it it's not waterproof. So that's the other downside. Um, you can go ahead and shake this up if you need more product out of it. These will last probably a good three or four months without having to buy a new one as far as like ink goes. So definitely a great product. Go ahead and pick yourself one up if you can't find a Jordana Lash. Uh, Jordana Fabuliner. So questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. You know I will always answer them. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye! Ah, it's not turning off. Okay, I found it.